Hello, everybody. How are you? Good evening. Okay. Uh, We're about to start right now with the class. Uh, section three. This is intermedio tres, ¿verdad? Let me see here. This is intermedio tres. Okay, just because I'm checking here is this is intermediate two. So uh, thank you for being here, Maximo, Wendy. Uh, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, we're going to wait a little bit for the rest. In the meantime, I'm, I don't know if you have any question about the platform, any problem, any doubt. No, teacher. No questions. Okay, no problem. Perfect. Okay, so these are, uh, this is what we were studying before, right? The participles, right? Yes or no? No. No? What, what no. were we studying? <laughs> Sorry, I have a lot of classes. What were we studying? Estábamos estudiando. Do you remember? Uh, participles as adjective. Participles as adjectives, right? Okay, perfect. So, yes. And we were talking about movies, right? Yes. Right? Yes. Okay, perfect. So, this is the one participles as adjectives. Okay, perfect. So, and yesterday we were talking about movies. We are going to talk more about that. That is the vocabulary. But we were talking about participles as just a minute and I'm busy with my baby. I'll be here in a while. Okay, no problem, Wendy. So, we were talking about participles as adjectives, right? And we had a homework because it is different. Yesterday, we learned that it's different to say, I'm interested than it is interesting, right? So, the museum is interesting. Something something that costs me that uh, feeling. And it's different to say that I am interested, right? Estoy interesado o es interesante. Work is tiring, right? It, it gets me tired. I am tired. But work is tiring. The movie is exciting. La película es emocionante. But I am excited. Yo estoy emocionado. So it's different to say present participles or to use past participles. Let's see here. And we did these kind of exercises. And the homework was this, right? Yeah, you have to choose one of these or any other. And you need to write two, um, well, one sentence with each of one. For example, alarming, right? What an alarming noise or alarmed. I was alarmed by the loud bank. Amusing. The TV program is really amusing. Amused. He was amused to hear his little son singing in the bath. Boring. I've never seen such a boring film. Bored. The students looked bored as the teacher talked and talked. Confusing, right? Confusing. Um, we have an example there. Let me see here. I found these instructions very confusing. Could you come and help me? I was confused, right? I was confused because I asked two people and they told me two different things. Depressing. The weather is depressing. Is it ever going to stop raining? Depressed. I was feeling depressed, so I stayed at home with hot chocolate and a good book. Embarrassing. This is the most embarrassing photo. I look terrible. Embarrassed. John was really embarrassed when he fell over in front of his new girlfriend. Exciting. It is, uh, it's a really exciting book. I couldn't wait to find out what happened at the end. Excited. I'm so excited. I'm going on holiday tomorrow. Exhausting. I hate doing housework. It's exhausting. Exhausted. Julie was so exhausted after her exams. She spent the next three days sleeping. Fascinating. 
the brain is fascinating, isn't it? It's amazing how much it can do. Fascinated. Joan was fascinated by her grandmother's stories of life in the 1920s. Frightening. What a frightening film. I don't want to talk. I don't want to walk home on my own now. Frightened. I was really frightened of bees when I was little, but I don't mind them and, uh, now. Frustrating. Frustrante. It's frustrating when you want to say something in another language, but you don't know the word. Frustrated. I tried all morning to send an email, but it wouldn't work. I was so frustrated. Interesting. That was a very interesting book. Interested. She is interested in animals. So she's thinking of studying to be a vet. So as you can see, it's different meaning, right? I don't know if you did yours. Uh, did you do the homework? Did you investigate new or uh, did you write the sentences with participles? Do you have yours? Or if you want to, you can uh, tell yes. me one right now. Okay, go ahead, Rina. Well, it's... Uh, okay. I work in a textile factory. Sometimes my job is, is exhausting, but at the same time is interesting because you learn new things every day. I work from Monday to Friday, so on Fridays I'm exhausted. The last week we bought a new machine to make the process more efficient. I'm interested in see how it's going to work. Hello. Yes, yeah, sorry. I'm interested to see, right? I'm interested to see how it's going to work. Uh, I can send you all the sentences to the chat. Maybe you can okay, translate perfect. to. Okay, wait a minute. I work in a tech factory. Sometimes my job is tiring. Yes, so that's correct, right? But it's exciting. My job is exciting. This one is it's, right? How it's going to work. Sorry. It's. Let's see. Just a minute, okay. So she said, I, I'm interested in, right? I'm interested in, see how it's going to work. I'm interested to see how it's going to work. So let's let's see. I sent you the, all the sentences to you, to the chat in, in WhatsApp. Oh, in WhatsApp, okay. I will look for them right now. Let me see here. I work in a textile factory. Okay, perfect. Let me copy this. So she wore, she wrote a lot of sentences, a paragraph, right? Very good, Rina. This is what it says. I work in a textile factory. Sometimes my job is exhausting, but at the same time, it's interesting because you learn new things every day. Very good, perfect. So my job is exhausting and it's interesting. I work from Monday to Friday. So on Fridays, I'm exhausted. The last week we bought a new machine to make the process more efficient. I'm interested in see how it's going to work. Uh, estoy interesada, ¿verdad? let me see.
en ver cómo va a funcionar, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Let me see here. Yeah, I'm interested to see how it will work or how it's going to work. I'm interested to see how it's going to work. That would be the only uh, problem with that, but the rest was really good, perfect. So we can see here the participles, right? Exhausting, interesting, exhausted, right? She is exhausted um, and interested. She is interested, right? To see how it's going to work, a new machine, perfect. So as you can see, she did it very good. Very good. Congratulations, Reina. Perfect. Let's see. Thank someone you, teacher. Else. Very good. Someone else? Alguien más? Me, teacher. Okay, Maximo. Go ahead. You wrote a paragraph or just sentences? A sentences. Sentences. Okay, what is the first sentence? The traffic is very alarming in the morning when I go to the, my job. The traffic is very alarming in the morning. When I go to my job. To my job. Okay. Let's see. Claudia, is this no, sentence uh, correct? The, the second. I am alarmed with the traffic every day. I am alarmed. Alarmed with the traffic every day. Okay, perfect. So we have alarming and alarm. alarmed. Perfect. Let's see, Claudia, Is are these sentences correct? Yes or no? Let me see. Uh, alarm. Excuse. The traffic is very alarming in the morning. When I go to my job, I am alarmed with the traffic every day. Is correct? Yes, it's correct, perfect, exactly, Maximo. Very good, very good, perfect. Alarming because it makes you feel alarmed, right? And you end up alarmed with the traffic every day, perfect. So it's alarming and alarmed, the traffic is alarming. Let's see, next one, somebody else? ¿Alguien más que haya hecho las oraciones con participles, as adjectives? Jeffrey. Ok, Jeffrey, and then Sonia. Ok, give me yours, uh, your sentences, please. Ok. I feel so bored at chemical because I feel it so confusing. At, at chemical? Because I feel it so confusing. Okay. And the next one? Uh, solo esa. <laughs> Only that. Okay, perfect. No problem. I feel so bored at chemical. What does it mean, chemical? ¿Qué significa chemical, Jeffrey? Química. Química, ok. Chemical is an adjective, in this case, chemical, right? And química is a subject, es un nombre, ¿verdad? Entonces, es chemistry, right? Chemistry. So, I feel so bored at chemistry because I feel it so confusing. Perfect. We have two, right? Bored. He feels so bored, right? And because chemistry is confusing, right? Confusing, very good, so perfect. Alicia, okay, Alicia is showing another one. I will, I will copy it here. It says, I saw Megan in the movie theater. That was interesting. I didn't feel bored. And it was a good movie. Very good. Interesting, right? Bored. 
Uh, I didn't feel bored. Very good. I saw Megan. Megan, I thought it, you were talking about a, a woman or a friend that is called Megan, but it's not. That is the name of the movie, right? Okay, very good. Right. Yes, Megan. I haven't watched that. Is is it a good movie? Or is it a bad movie? It's a good movie. It's a good movie. Okay, perfect. It's like uh, the same topic of your robot. Oh, okay. Okay, yes. Okay, perfect. I understand. And it's like a horror. It's not a horror, right? It's like a thriller, right? Something like that, right? Science fiction. Yes, science fiction. Okay, okay perfect. Let's see another one. It says, this is from Melissa. I was confused with the new policy of the insurance. Very good. I was confused. Or I, or I can say the insurance policy was confusing, right? The insurance policy was confusing for me. Or I was confused with the new policy of the insurance. Perfect. Sonia, give me yours, please. Okay. I am frustrated for the final exam. Okay, for the final exam. exam. Perfect. I am frustrated for the final exam. That's the only one? No, uh, the final exam is frustrating. Very good. The final exam is frustrating. Perfect. So you see, you are frustrated. And the final exam is frustrating. Frustrado, frustrante. Perfect. Very good. Very good examples. Thanks. Let's see. Uh, somebody else? Alguien más hizo la tarea? Me, teacher. Okay, Claudia, go ahead. My job is interesting. Okay. So... Uh, so every day, every every day, I'm excited. Very good. I'm excited, right? My job is interesting. So every day, I'm excited. Very good. Interesting job is interesting, and she feels excited. Perfect. Somebody else? Alguien más? Or only that? Okay, we have a lot of a lot of examples. Very good, everybody, because you understood very well the difference, right? I work in a textile factory. Sometimes my job is exhausting, but at the same time, it's interesting because you learn new things uh, every day. I work from Monday to Friday, so on Fridays I'm exhausted. The last week we bought a new machine to make the process more efficient. I'm interested to see how it's going to work. Very good, perfect. So you see, uh, that's the way that we can use it when we are talking normally and when we are writing. And also with this kind of sentences, we are able to see the difference, right? But very good, it was really good. Now, um, this will be a review, right? This will be a review of participles as adjectives. So we are just going to read, solo para repasar, para hacer un repaso, un review. And it says, I uh, use present participles adjectives, ing, those are the present participles, to describe or give an option about situations, movies, books, TV shows, etc. Use past participle adjectives to express how you feel about situations, movies, books, TV shows, etc. So that's what you, you did, right? You give an opinion about something, about a situation, and you express how you feel. It says, I think Game of Thrones, it's an amazing series. I read the book, I read the book you told me, but I felt very bored. I'm interested in horror movies. So those will be the same examples that you did before. Well, uh, not the same, but similar, right? And we have here present and past participle adjectives. 
So if you look in a dictionary or in an English book, you are going to see this right at the end. Uh, it, have, it has like a section for verbs. Uh, cuando ustedes tienen un diccionario o un libro de inglés, al final, en el apéndice vienen una sección de, de verbos. Y ahí les ponen verbs en presente, en pasado y en past participle. So the past participle will be this one, right? Ahora, como estamos viendo present participles, aquí están las tres formas, ¿verdad? Verbs in present, in past uh, participles, right? In present participles y in past participles. And as you can see, there are many, many present participles as adjectives and many past participles that we can use as adjectives. And this will be the, the formula or the structure to create sentences, right? With present participles and with, with past participles. Subject plus V plus verb plus present participle adjective plus complement. And, and also past participle, right? Adjectives, the feelings, right? Subject plus V plus past participle uh, adjectives plus complement. So one is an opinion and one is the feeling, right? Your book sounds exciting. The food looks disgusting. The movie Titanic is so depressing in the end. The last episode of Game of Thrones was very disappointing. And past participles, right? I am excited about your book. I feel disgusted by the food. She gets depressed when she watches the movie Titanic. Everybody was disappointed by the last episode of Game of Thrones. So that's what you did already. Now we have synonyms. We are going to use vocabulary to describe movies, right? Vamos a usar vocabulario para describir películas. Quiero ver si se mira así. Okay. So, these are uh, synonyms. For example, awful, horrible, terrible, disgusting. For example, Krela is a terrible person. So, we can say awful person, horrible person, or disgusting person, right? Wonderful, fantastic, incredible, outstanding. All of these are synonyms. Se parecen el significado. Son sinónimos, ¿verdad? Dua Lipa is a wonderful singer. I can say also it's an outstanding singer. Sobresaliente, ¿verdad? Incredible, right? So these are synonyms. Try to use these uh, adjectives. Try to use these words for you to... To describe things. Traten de usar esto para que ustedes puedan describir o dar o más o, o, o hacer más grande su opinión acerca de algo. Stupid, silly, ridiculous, dumb. Homer is a little silly. So that would be an opinion, right? Strange, odd, weird, bizarre. The movie saw is really bizarre. Have you watched that movie? Do you like horror movies? Or you don't like horror movies? Have you watched it? Do you think it is strange or odd or weird or bizarre? I or think it is strange. It's uh -huh. a strange movie. I don't really like it. It's just blood everywhere um, I don't understand why but I, I think it's a, a strange movie yes actually I just watched the first one because I I, I, I have a similar opinion right it's kind of strange because it, 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 I didn't understand the end I won't say if you haven't watched it I, I, I won't give you a spoiler but yeah, I, I was like, why, why, why did it happen? What, what happened right here at the end of the movie was like, is that the end or what, what was the purpose of, of the story, right? I understand that it's about vengeance and everything, but I don't know. It, I, it is strange. For me, it is, it, it is weird, actually. But let's see more synonyms. Um, funny, right? Funny, amusing, hilarious hysterical so for example jim carrey's characters are funny right so these are synonyms and we also have kinds of movies right because today we are going to 
to talk about movies, right? We have action movies, comedy, animation, fantasy, biography, sci-fi, thriller, horror, drama, war, documentary, and musical. Do you have any question about uh, these uh, genres, this vocabulary, preguntas? Uh, what's the difference in thriller and horror movies? A uh, thriller is uh, como suspenso. Okay. It no necessarily tiene que ser or not. It's not necessary to be like a, a horror movie like Demons and things like that. It can be something like like you are like cringing or you are at the edge of your seat. It's como eh, la pone emocionada, como que la pone en tensión. Los thrillers. Y el horror es horror, ¿verdad? Es como so, es como the movie that we are seeing there, La Monja, El Conjuro. That's horror, right? Because it involves uh, things like from demons and, and, and supernatural things, cosas sobrenaturales de horror. Pero el thriller can be an action movie that can be like kind of scary, right? For example, uh, or an, an investigation or an assassin, an asesino, it can be a thriller, right? So that's the difference. It's más que todo de suspenso. Another question? Another question? Do you have any other? No. Okay, perfect. So um, we're going to check more vocabulary because we are going to practice this conversation, okay? Um, and also we are going to provide our opinion about movies, right? With uh, using participles and also this vocabulary. So we are going to check this one. Let me see if it's long or not. Vamos a ver si es, if it is a long. Long vocabulary or not. Yeah, I think it is not working. Let me see the other one. Yes, now I can see it. So now we're going to check uh, vocabulary about movies, right? Are you able to see it? Uh, this, uh, yes, this, this will be useful for you to describe movies, for example, or to describe like, for example, if you want to talk about how this movie was made, um, how was, I didn't know, like behind the scenes, something like that, right? For example, in El Set, you can say on the set, right? On the set of this movie, this happened and, and this other thing happened. And it was really interesting. So you can express yourself in that way. You can use this vocabulary. Also, el argumento, el argumento de la película. How can I say that, teacher? El argumento, right? Is the plot. The plot was really interesting because it was a very 
very intelligent, the way the, the character speaks, the character uh, acts, right? The behavior, edita, right? Sometimes that's also um, another way to describe a movie. Edition to edit or the edition of the movie. Los efectos especiales. How do you say that in English? Efectos especiales. You already know, right? I guess. Is uh, special effects, right? Special effects. We have la escena. I love this uh, scene, right? The scene. So I love this scene because it's really popular. For example, I don't know. Uh, the Titanic scene is really popular, right? The one that when they are uh, at the edge of the... It's not a boat, it's like, a, well, it's, it's like a ship, right? So that's a very popular scene. I love that, that, that scene, right? You can explain that. Esperar is to wait, right? Because actors need to wait a lot of time when they are on the set. Filmar, how do I say that? To film, right? To film. Fracasar, una película fracasó, right? Fail, to fail, or something failed with the movie. El guión de la película. How do I say that? El guión is the screenplay. The screenplay. Let's see this one. Hacer un papel is to play a role, right? To play, I will play a role, or this actor plays a role. We can say that. El maquillaje. How do you say maquillaje? Makeup, right? Makeup. El sonido de la película, right? Is the sound. Tener éxito. Una película tuvo éxito. Is successful, right? To be successful. Cámara de cine. How do you say that? Um, that one is a movie camera. Y cámara digital, a digital camera. It's different, right? Y cámara de video. Video camera. A microphone, right? For movies, the microphone. A software is the same software because we have animated films. Actor, the actor. Actriz, actress, right? With one E, una, una E. No dos, ¿verdad? The actress. Double S. El o la directora. The director, right? We have also La Estrella de Cine, right? The movie star. Famoso, famous. La gente, people, because the people or people loves films, right? El guionista, it's the screenwriter. El que escribe el guion, screenwriter. Animación, animation. Comedia, right? Comedy, the comedy. Documental, documentary. El drama or drama, the drama, right? La película de aventuras is the adventure movie. Película de ciencia ficción is a science fiction movie. Película de fantasía. A fantasy movie. We have fantasy movie also. Película de terror is a terror movie or horror movie. Me da miedo. How do I say that is? It scares me. Y me hace reír. It makes me laugh. It makes me laugh. Y me hace llorar. It makes me cry. So you can use this vocabulary for you to... Um, I will share this right now in the chat. Lo voy a compartir en el chat. Para que ustedes tengan este link. And you can see their, the information, the vocabulary, right, about that. Because you will be able to use it in that way if you want to provide your opinion about something. So in this case, uh, in this class, you will learn and classify synonyms for common adjectives. So as you can see, we watch or we check different Synonyms, right? I want you to use these synonyms also. Let's see if we are able to practice with this. Let's see here. With this 
conversation. So I will play it and we are going to listen to it because this one is just a review about um, a parsiples, right? And actually we already studied parsiples and this is pronunciation. Probably we are going to practice the pronunciation first. Uh, it says, listen and practice. It is just pronunciation. When you listen to a conversation, cuando escuchen una conversación, traten de imitarla. Try to imitate the intonation, right? The emphatic stress, let's say, the stress. For example, that was terrible. He was amazing. That was fascinating. So try to imitate the way they speak. We are going to listen to this conversation and let me know if you have any questions after listening to it. Let me play right now. Unit 13. Are you able to listen to it? ¿La pueden escuchar? Yes. Okay, perfect. So let's listen to it. Let's listen to the pronunciation. And after that, you tell me what is the conversation about. That's entertainment. Page 86, exercise two. Conversation. I think they're boring. Part A. Listen and practice. It's so hot out. Do you want to stay in and watch a movie this afternoon? Hmm, maybe. What do you want to see? How about an X-Men movie? I've heard that the early ones are really interesting. For you, maybe. I'm not interested in action movies. Actually, I think they're boring. What about that new movie based on one of Stephen King's novels? I don't know. I'm always fascinated by his books, but I'm not in the mood for a horror movie. Well, what do you want to see? How about a Game of Thrones marathon? It's my favorite series ever. Okay, but only if you make us some popcorn. Page 86. Okay, did you listen to the conversation? Okay, well, what's the conversation about? Well, what's it's the conversation about? About, uh -huh. about two, two persons, uh -huh. and they want to watch a movie in the afternoon? Exactly, want to watch a movie, right? What kind of movie? What is the name of the movie? X-Men. X-Men, an X-Men movie. And what happened uh, 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 with Gina? Was she interested in that kind of movies, action movies? No, she... No, she right. Think... Mm -hmm. She thinks they are boring. She thinks they are boring, exactly. And they then they suggested another, or Danny suggested another movie, right? Based on Stephen King's novels. What did she think about that? About the novels of Stephen King? She loves the book, but she's not on the mood to saw a horror movie. Exactly. She is fascinated by his books, right? But she's not in the mood. No está de humor. She's not in the mood for a horror movie. Uh, at the end, what did they decide to watch? ¿Qué decidieron ver al final? Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, a marathon, right? But only if you make some popcorn. Very good. Perfect. It says, uh, what happens next? What do they decide to do? Let's listen because there is something else at the end of this conversation. Let's Let's listen to it. Exercise 2. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What happens next? What do they decide to do? 
Okay, I'll go make the popcorn. You get the show set up. Sure. Ugh. Hey, Gina? Yeah? What happened? The internet is down. I can't believe it. It's the second time this month. I guess we're gonna have to go out. All right. But if we go out in this heat, I think I want to see something light and fun. How about a comedy, then? Sounds good. Should we check what's in the theaters? No, let's just go. Whatever you like best is fine. But I'm in charge of snacks. Okay. So at the end, did they watch Game of Thrones or not? No, because the internet went down. Exactly. The internet went, went down, so they were not able to watch Game of Thrones. What did they do at the end? ¿Qué hicieron al final? If they didn't watch Game of Thrones, what did they do? ¿Qué hicieron si no vieron Game of Thrones? They, I understand that they go out. They were going out to see a comedy movie. Exactly. Very good. So they were going to go to the movie theater to watch a comedy, right? Because it was really hot. And they were going to buy snacks. Perfect. So we are going to practice this conversation. Um, do you have any question about this conversation? Any new word, pronunciation? ¿Alguna pregunta de la conversación o pronunciación? No questions? Okay, perfect. So if we don't, we don't have any question, I, I, I want you to practice this conversation, but with a partner. Lo vamos a practicar, pero en parejas. En, esta, en este caso, vamos a utilizar esta conversación como eh, ejemplo. We are going to use this conversation as an example, right? I will take a screenshot of this, this conversation and I will send it to the group. Lo voy a mandar al grupo de WhatsApp. Um, so you will be able to, to see there. Lo voy a mandar al grupo de WhatsApp y ahí lo van a poder ver la conversación para que ustedes la practiquen. Can you change the, can we change the information teacher? Yes, you can change it, right? Uh, you can do it like that. Lo pueden cambiar la información. Digamos que no van a ver la de los hombres X, van a ver la otra película, de the Avengers, something else. You're not going to watch Game of Thrones, but you are going to watch, I don't know, Stranger Things, right? So uh, you can change the information, but it has to be similar to this. Tiene que ser parecida a esta. For example, Rina will practice with Alicia, let's say, right? Example. And they are going to, to ask, hey, Rina, uh, do, you watch, do you want to watch a movie this afternoon? Oh, yes, Alicia. What are we going to watch? Oh, let's watch Pretty Woman, right, in Netflix. Okay. But I don't like, I think that it's, it's kind of boring, that movie. I don't like romantic movies, right? Okay, let's watch... Um, a comedy, right? Let's watch a comedy. Let's watch, I don't know, Shrek. Shrek. Okay, perfect. So uh, let's make some popcorn and I don't know, things like that, okay? So you can go ahead. Ustedes pueden uh, inventar más y al final ver una película. Do you have any question about that? Questions? No questions? No. Perfect. So... I'm going to open the rooms and you are you are going to practice in pairs. Van a, van a practicar en parejas y después vamos a ver cómo... Eh, Le voy a dar 10 minutos solo para practicar, ¿ok? 10 minutes. So I will open the rooms and you can begin. Let's see, we are 10, so we'll be 5. Yes, 5 people. Okay, you can join right now. And uh, we are going to come back at 8.49 or 8.48, something like that. Join the, the, the rooms. Una hacia las salas.
Okay, people, you need you have 10 minutes right now, and then we are going to practice the conversation. Okay. Um, what was the last movie do you see? Oh, do you watch? Actually, for now, I just watching um, Pablo Escobar. I like it sometimes, like um, very rude people. It's, um, it's very. I can. How can I say? And some parts are like very, very scary. And sometimes I bored when I watch, when I watch it. Oh, and do you see another series? Yes, actually I'm like um, obsessive. Uh, I don't know, it's like home theater or something like that. I, I, lovely, I think, the word. I don't know, how can I say? Uh, and what? I love, I what love that about? <laughs> what that about? Uh, my favorite movie are of Marvel's. Marvel's movie. Homecoming. Uh, yes, like comic. And you, ah. which are your favorite movies? Of type, what, what, what kind of type of movie do you like? Uh, I like, Seria Watch. I, I like Watch. Oh. No, no. Ah, uh, no. I like, oh, I like, I like, uh, what kind of type? Eh, hay una película que se llama, eh, después de, no, yo después de ti, of... creo que se llama, uh -huh. uh, yo después de ti, no recuerdo el nombre de la película. <laughs> Ay, no, no, no recuerdo el nombre de esa película. Mm. Mm -hmm. What kind of type of movie do you like? Uh, I I like. Seria, I like C. I like C. Mm. O seria, I. The movie después de ti. Son géneros. El género. El género. Ah, oh, mm -hmm. uh, romantic. Mm -hmm. Sería, I like to see the romantic movie. Uh -huh. To see, ay, Dios mío, <laughs> Titanic, <laughs> Titanic is a romantic okay. movie. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, y, yo, y yo le respondo que sí. Uh -huh. eh, yes, it sounds great. It uh -huh. sounds great. Vaya, yo le diría, comenzar, repitámoslo, vaya. Vaya, yo le digo, it's raining, it's raining. Do you want to stay in in watch a movie this afternoon? Ok. Ya ni me acuerdo. Ah, ah, okay, ok, sure. sure. Uh -huh. What do you want to see? How about an horror movie? Like The Noon. It seems interesting. Oh, no, I don't like the horror movie because I square it. Square it, okay. Okay, what about a romantic movie? Yes, I fascinated. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I like. I like it. Sí, I like it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
y me pregunta, usted me pregunta, do you want to see Titanic? ¿Cuánto es Titanic? Yes, it sounds great. Ok, it's Ok. great. It's great. Eh, y lo último que ponen, eh, ok, but only if you make a some popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but only if you make some popcorn, popcorn. Bye. Okay. Practiquemos una vez más. Ok, no sé si ya regresamos. Creo que no. No, todavía no. Una última. It's so hot out. Do you want to stay in and watch a movie this afternoon? Um, maybe. What do you want to see? How about a Fast and Furious movie? I've heard that the early ones are really interesting. For you, maybe. I'm not interested in action movies. Actually, I think they're boring. What about a new movie based on one of Stephen King's novels? I don't know. I'm always fascinated by his books, but I'm not in the mood for a horror movie. Well, what do you want to see? How about a uh, Stranger Things Marathon? That's my favorite series ever. Okay, but only if you make us some popcorn. Creo que estamos bien. Hello, did you practice already? Yes, we practiced. Okay, so we're going to go back with everybody here. Let's... Okay, people, now we are going to finish the conversation and we're going to go back to the main room, okay? Try to finish it if you're still working on it. Ya es hora de regresar, así que vamos a regresar, okay? Okay, so let's see here. Okay, we're just going to wait for the rest and we are going to practice the conversation that you created. Okay, perfect. Now, I think that everybody is here right now. I just need two volunteers to practice the conversation, right? Remember that it was going to be similar to this one. Iba a ser parecida a esta, pero eh, ustedes tenían que, que cambiarle ciertas cosas, okay? So, I need two volunteers. Who will be the first one? Okay, Melissa, go ahead. Ready, Jeffrey? Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's so hot out. Do you want to stay in and watch a movie this afternoon? Mm, maybe. What do you want to see? How about a Fast and Furious movie? I hear that the early ones are really interesting. For you, maybe. I'm not interested in action movies. Actually, I think they're boring. What about a new movie based on one of Stephen King's novels? I don't know. I'm always fascinated with his books, but I'm not in the mood for a horror movie. Well, what do you want to see? How about uh, a Stranger Things Marathon? That's my favorite series ever. Okay, but only if you make us some popcorn. Okay, very good. Perfect. 
Perfect. Thank you, Jeffrey and Melissa. Perfect. Let's see someone else. Alguien más? Sonia? Okay, Maximo and Sonia. Sonia, are you there? Yes. Okay, go ahead then. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Maximo. Would you like to see a movie this Valentine's Day? Yes. What kind of type of movie do you like? I like to see the romantic movie. Why don't you see I Be For You? It's a wonderful idea. Okay, let's go. Okay, Maxine. Okay, very good. Perfect, very good. Very good intonation. What kind of movie, right? Or what type of movie? Very good, perfect. Let's see other two people, please. Alguien más? Rina. Okay, Rina and Claudia. Are you ready? Yes. Uh, Claudia, it's raining. Do you want to stay in and watch a movie this afternoon? Oh, sure. What do you see? Do, what do you want to see? Yeah. How about an horror, a horror movie? Like The Noon. It seems interesting. Oh, no, I don't like the horror movie because I scored. Okay, what about a romantic movie? Yes, I like it. Do you want to see Titanic? Yes, it sounds great. Okay, but only if you make some popcorn. Okay. Okay, very good, perfect, very good. And the last one? ¿Quién falta? Oh, ya estuvieron todos. Nobody's missing, right? Nadie más falta? Nobody else? No more conversations? Okay. So, very good, very good uh, pronunciation. Honestly, I... You have a very good level of English, most of you. La, la mayoría de ustedes tienen buen nivel de inglés. Very good. I like the pronunciation. I like the way you speak. I like the vocabulary you use. Very good. Perfect. Because um, I try to compare right, with other groups, but I, I feel that you have a very good, a very good level. So uh, we are going to check something else for tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday, right? Wednesday. Okay, so tomorrow we are going to, I need you to, let me see here. Yes, I think that we are going to do that. I need you to investigate um, a movie, right? For example, we can see different movies here, different kind of movies like a science fiction movie, animation, fantasy. So I need you to make a review of your favorite movie or one movie, una película que usted quiera recomendar. O que no quiera recomendar, you don't want to recommend, right? For example, Fast and Furious 7, right? Okay, I want to recommend Fast and Furious 7 because it's a really good movie, it's a really bad movie, or because of the special effects. I like the story, I like the actors, I like the screenplay. The special effects are amazing. The The actress in that movie is wonderful. It's outstanding. Y traten de usar eh, estas palabras, right? Funny, amusing, hilarious, hysterical, strange, odd. All of these synonyms that we studied today, all of these, to describe the movie and also of present and past participles, right? Uh, so this is what we're going to, to do tomorrow on Wednesday, uh, just a review, una review de una película, review of a movie. That will be your homework for tomorrow. And do you have any question, any any doubt, preguntas? No, teacher. Okay, perfect. So I will see you tomorrow at 7.55 and have a nice evening and happy Valentine's Day, okay? Thank you, have a nice night. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.